Hi everyone, this is Nikki, otherwise known as Happily Lost. Uh, we will be continuing with the series of Q&A and transgender experiences. In this one, the questions are going to be dealing with transition and family and friends. What should a partner know? And what would I have told myself all those years ago when I transitioned? So let us get into it right after this. How to deal with family and friends and how they react to my transitioning. I still do not like the terminology transitioning, but that is another thing. Well, from, from my experience, I have had people treat me differently and people that have not treated me differently, at least not in a bad way. Those who didn't treat me differently did in a way in that they treated me differently because of my adjusted presentation. So they did treat me differently, just not in a bad way. I have had some people that would no longer have anything to do with me, or worse, they would just not acknowledge me, only acknowledging who they saw me beforehand. Yes, I did say that was the worst. At least the others would not have anything to do with me anymore. I have had family and friends that just adjusted. It didn't do it. it. It really just did not have a pro they didn't really have a problem with it at all and were okay right from the start, almost like they knew beforehand. The thing that I feel, feel that people forget is that we are still the same person at our core. Our gender identities is not the entirety of who we are, it is just an aspect of who we are. And realistically, I feel that the ones who had the least amount of issues adjusting may have seen it that way. For them, they just need to adjust to things like new name, pronouns and the like. I feel that in dealing with people struggling with adjusting, one of the worst things you can do is get up in their face about it. You need to remember that this is something that has been in your head for a long time and are used to those differences. This is new to them and it will take time to adjust to them. And for some, they will never change. So you need to decide if they are worth staying around or not for your own mental health, your own physical safety. Or are you willing to just accept them for who they are and their own issues and struggles still being part of their lives? When it comes down to it, you cannot change people if they do not want to change. You can only show them the door. They still have to walk through it and they may never be willing to walk through it. Those that do want to change for them, you can only guide them to changing. It's still up to them to make the changes. What should a person know about being intimate with a trans person? Well, I kind of summed it up in this video on advice on being intimate with a trans person. I will link the video up in the card, but I will talk a bit about it, about some other things relating to it. First things first, from my experience, you're better being upfront about your past before you even meet them if possible. It is far better to know if they are okay with the past at the beginning than to find out later. It is no guarantee that it is going to be okay or okay, but, your re but their reaction could be worse if they find out later. I have had partners who have known beforehand. Some have even said that it did not, that I did not need to tell them, that it did not matter. However, I made the mistake once of not telling someone in the beginning. Then it, it just got harder and harder to tell them. When I did finally tell them about my past, it all blew up and we now have nothing to do with each other. A little bit of context is perhaps required for that situation in that I am post bottom surgery. Anyway, the amount of hurt which occurred on both sides of that relationship was far more than I am willing to put anyone through again. Lesson learnt. And I was and still are, so very sorry for the hurt that I caused. 
even after 22 years, I'm still trying to work things out. Anyway, my advice would be to know your likes and dislikes, how you would want to be treated by them and how you want to treat them. Know your hard and soft limits and generally what feels good for you. Then you need to be able to communicate that with the other person. The catch is how to tell them and that is the real question and it is personal preference, it's up to you. I did give a suggestion on communication difficult topics in the video I suggested earlier. Ah, what would I have told myself back then? I will try to keep this one short and sweet, let me see. Um, for me the thing that I would have probably told myself was don't wait. It gets harder if you wait and you, you get comfortable with waiting, trapped with waiting far too comfortable for your own good. Also, there will be battles that you will have to fight, but you'll be a better person for those fights. There will be battles that you do not need to fight, and some battles you should just walk away from. But in the end, any of those battles do not go away just because you wait. You are far better off being your, myself and fight those battles than being someone else. Anyway, if you like this content, content and would like to see more on motorcycles, art and sex related stuff, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell to be notified of any updates. See you next time. Bye.